Hello, I'm Hannah Victoria from Ixia Botanicals, a flower studio and garden based on a working dairy farm on the North Lancashire South Cumbria border. I specialise in designing and creating for weddings across North West England and my wedding couples choose me for my garden gathered natural romantic design style and for my local seasonal and scented English garden flowers. I'm going to talk to you today a little about the plot I'm based on, about the different ingredients I grow for weddings, and I'm also going to show you some snippets of the plot, as well as show you a finished bridal bouquet and talk to you a little bit about my different wedding services and how clients find me. So I thought it'd be quite helpful to start with some information about the plot. So I'm based on an approximately three quarter acre plot. Uh, I'm based on a dairy farm, as I said, at the back of the farm, in the corner of quite a large four acre field. Over here, there is actually a borehole on site. So most of the beds are now hooked up to irrigation, which is very helpful in summer, although we've not needed it much this year. I then have a couple of half beds, 15 foot beds, of trailing vines, things like clematis, honeysuckle, jasmine, things that are really useful to create those beautiful, uh, loose, asymmetrical bridal bouquets. And then have grown around about 10 half beds of biannuals. They're spent now and are currently being pulled, but they will be amended with fresh compost and will be planted up probably in the next month or so with some biannuals, which I've sown early on in the year. I then have a polytunnel, which is around 20 foot wide by 60 feet long. The polytunnel is mainly used now for propagation, although I do still have some beds in there where I grow spring flowering bulbs um, some, and some early flowering sweet peas. And it's currently planted up with some chrysanthemums and some larger dinner plate dahlias, which do much better when protected inside. I then have just a, a, a single row of peonies, I wish I grew more, and just a couple of uh, larger beds of perennials. These are one of the first things I planted and I certainly would like to grow more perennials, so that's definitely on the horizon over the next year and I'd like to grow some from seed if possible. I then have around six 40 foot beds of garden roses. These are all outside at the moment, I've never needed cover although I am considering covering them for next summer. But there's around 50 roses in each bed, a few more in some and a few less in others. But in total, I have around 300 garden roses, um, or plants, should I say, in this small area. I then have had around six beds, I won't show you because they've just been cleared in the last few days, of hardy annuals. They were all autumn sown hardy annuals, things like Orlea, uh, Agrisema, cornflowers, some larkspur, and they've been really good this year, but they've just come to an end. And then I have one, two, three, 40 foot rows of sweet peas. The sweet pea plants are looking a little um, worse for wear because we've had particularly bad wind here. It's quite an open plot but the flowers are still really beautiful with really good stem length so they're going to stay there for a little while longer certainly um whilst i've got weddings in this next month and then to the other side of there so scale i'm sitting about the center of the plot here and it's the same again down to the hedge and there's lots of shrubs planted down there things like spirea physocarpus um uh, some hellebores as well uh, but those shrubs are one of the first things I planted and are really helpful for wedding work. So this is the new bit of the plot which was added at the beginning of this year so I have 45 foot beds here four foot wide with two foot paths which run right down to the hedge line and I'm hoping to add a much larger tunnel uh, at the back end of this year for spring flowering bulbs and also to plant some half hardy annuals in just to cover all bases. So at the moment I have around 10 beds of dahlias which are, are just coming on and then I have lots of beds of half hardy annuals to take over the hardy annuals which I've just pulled. 
So the most important thing when growing wedding flowers is that you have lots of successions of flowers to keep uh, a continuous supply of flowers throughout the wedding season. If you just come down here. So I have some poppies here and some zinnias, which need a little bit more warmth to come on. But then I also have a, a second succession of Cineglossum and a couple of successions of Cosmos, some Rudbeckia and Nicotiana, some Antivinums and another succession of Larkspur and Nigella. And then I have some Phlox and some Camelot Fox Gloves, which are just coming on. Uh, some Nigella, a second succession of Scabious, I've got some more for in full fire at the top, some Amimagus and some Larkspur. I've made a bridal bouquet this afternoon using an assortment of ingredients both from the garden and from another grower and member of flowers from the farm. I've made my usual garden gathered asymmetrical style bouquet and to get this loose shape and asymmetrical shape I tend to arrange ingredients directly into my hand using my hand as a vase and I thread ingredients into my hand to create a nest framework usually starting with vines and foliage, here's spirea and jasmine and then I will start to layer flowers into my hand to create the bouquet. I've then finished the bouquet with some complementary plant dyed habitat silk uh, which I think pulls out the tones in the Julia, Julie's rose and Coco Loco rose really nicely. So for weddings I tend to offer two different wedding services. My full floral service is a fully customizable service and includes exclusive use on the day. So I would stay on site to ribbon the bouquet and hand this over prior to the ceremony to affix buttonholes and corsages and also to place any arrangements and move them in between the ceremony and reception if necessary. I do also offer an intimate service which is suitable to couples having a smaller wedding yet who still want to embrace my garden gathered um, style of floral designs and locally grown flowers. Uh, couples opting for my intimate service tend to choose from a set menu and really just give me an indication of the colour palette they're looking for and leave me to it. I hope that's really helpful and I hope it's helpful to see a finished bouquet and I hope you've enjoyed having a brief look at the plot and if you have any questions please don't hesitate to pop me an email, I'd be delighted to help.